With Playform's mixed projects, you're able to generate and explore images within the realm of possibility that the AI model can imagine, which is also called a latent space. You're able to find images you're interested in and be able to blend images together to create matrices of results, explore the proximity between images, as well as see how images are able to fluidly change into one another within this realm of possibility. For our pre-trained mixes, you can start without any prior preparation. We will always have randomly generated images to act as your jumping off points, and once you create a project, you will always be able to re-reference images you've saved. With any image, you can add it to your grid as an anchor point. These anchor points determine the area of exploration for your face mixes. With one anchor point, you are able to explore permutations of that single image. The Influence on Grid section for face mixing controls the influence of that specific anchor point on the entirety of this 5x5 grid. For the one anchor case, a smaller content value creates more variability in your results. while a higher value gives you more similar fine-tuned results in your grid. This is the same for the color and texture slider. A lower value means less influence and larger variability in the single anchor case. You also have the ability to test whether a photorealistic or illustrative style works better for your single anchor grid. Say you're interested in one of the produced images. You can save, download or share them at any time. You can also decide to use it as an additional anchor image as another way to fine tune. You can also go to add to mix for random or saved images to create an additional anchor point. You can create up to four anchor points for your grid and each one pushes and pulls the results with their own influences on the grid. The face mixing model is different than other mixing models as it has the ability to fine tune faces for a variety of facial attributes. For example, I want to make this individual older and have a larger smile. Though I like this result, I can strengthen these attributes by making the image more expressive overall. With higher values with both the sliders and expressiveness, you can begin to reach the bounds of our face mixing model which may cause unexpected or surreal results. Like any model, there are inherent biases that exist due to the sources that were chosen as well as reflecting the biases of the humans that labeled the data. As you experiment with the face mixing model, please continue to keep this in mind. You can put this all together, creating grids using anchor points and fine-tuning images. You are able to change the face attributes for every image on the grid, including the anchor points. If you're editing a non-anchor point, it will not affect the grid unless you add that resulting edited image to the grid. We're excited to see how you end up adapting face editing and mixing into your own work. Face mixing is the first mixing process that we have available, so definitely feel free to contact us with any questions or suggestions for improvement.